Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer, will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, your The love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord, and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, and the sea, and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant, Why did the Gentiles rage, and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, to do what, you, what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats, and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness, as you stretch forth your hand to heal, and signs and wonders that are done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. As they prayed, the place where, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continue to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. The response is Alleluia. Why do the nations rage and the people utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Alleluia. He who is thrown in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord said to me, You are my son. 
This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Alleluia. There is voidness. 
darkness in our soul, in our hearts. Maybe the sin, maybe our own addictions or our own problems, um, family problems, anything maybe. Some kind of darkness we all have in our life. So Jesus in today's gospel inviting us, come and live with Jesus, come to the fullness of life, the fullness of spirit in our life. Pray for the world and for our own personal intentions. For faithful witnesses who inspire us to show the love and mercy of God to others, let us pray to the Lord. For those who minister to the sick and elderly, and especially the people suffering from COVID-19 virus and the doctors and nurses who take care of them, and for families who have to make difficult choices, let us pray to the Lord. For new occasions to the priesthood and religious life, and for good witness to inspire them, let us pray to the Lord. For those beginning to learn more about the Catholic faith, and for all who support their searching hearts, let us pray to the Lord. For the many missionary groups who take the gospel to many parts of the world and that they may find comfort and support in their journeys, let us pray to the Lord. And for all the intentions that we hold in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. For those who mourn the death of loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Please join for the divine renovation prayer. Father of spiritual river, work your divine renovation on our sacred heart parish family. Make us a welcoming community of love, forgiveness, and acceptance to all we meet. Inspire us to use our gifts and talents to become a parish of active apostles on fire for Jesus Christ. May we be empowered by your Holy Spirit to share your love with others. For the sacred heart of Jesus, Mary, Mother of the Church, pray for us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good. And for the glory of the Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, as and as, as you have given for 
and cause for such great gladness. Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, or at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to doubt you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hearts of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The fold of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you are held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Of mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be ready to be coherent to the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, O your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now one forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray for vocation to the religious life and to the priesthood. God, our Father, today may I, have an, may I have an opportunity by my actions to encourage a vocation to the religious life. Help me to conduct myself in a Christian manner that I might give proper example, particularly to the end. Through the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, May I also support those in religious life in their vocation of service to your church. May the sincerity of my prayers and my concern for vocations result in an increase of laborers for Jesus and his church. Amen. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit go in peace glorifying the lord by your life